Today is the conference at Radiant Church. I'm gonna pick up my friend Mati and then we're gonna go. Funny story is that since she lives close to me, she picked me up because we were gonna go to a Wednesday service and listen to my pastor preaching in English, right? And then she was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna pick you up at this time. And I'm just like, okay, well the service starts at seven and she was picking me up at 5.40 and I'm like, all right, I guess we're gonna get there early. And then it turns out that there was a meeting for the volunteers and so I was forced to volunteer. But it's okay, because I've always wanted to do the welcome, hold the sign. So we're here and we're gonna volunteer. Uh, so yeah, I'm on my way to pick her up and then we're gonna go to the conference in Jesus' mighty name. Let me hurry up. <laughs> hey, sister. <laughs> Goodbye. So powerful, such a good night. And now we're getting Denny's. Oh no, it's not like yourself, that's me. My eyes are Serious? Serious? I didn't tell you. Oh my god, it's a bite from the other day. Look at all this. <laughs> <laughs> the next day last night was amazing <laughs> and then i went dumpster diving <laughs> with my sister oh my goodness my stuff is still in my car but thank the lord she's picking me up this morning um i had to wake up at six o'clock um to volunteer again and i'm excited for what god is gonna do today he 
did an amazing job last night and I look forward to today. I'm excited Ooh. and to hear Layla um, speak, see what the Lord is going to, you know, speak to her or to hear what, you know, what she's going to tell us, what the Holy Spirit is going to say to us. And, you know, man, it was really good. That word was for me last night because she just said, like, stop having a pity party and to walk in your authority, to speak life into those areas that you feel defeated, like you feel where it feels impossible. Nothing is impossible for, for God. And I feel like I was throwing a pity party because, you know, it's been hard. I'm the only one saved and I got to pray for everybody. I got to hold everybody together. But, you know, sometimes it's not even for me to to worry about. It's not for me to carry that burden. It's for me to give it to God and to speak life and to say, my dad will be the head of the household. My dad will be the one that's going to lead us and lead my mom and he's going to want to take that authority and in prayer have that authority and wanting to learn the Bible so he can, you know, stand firm in the word and, and have, you know, Jesus as his rock and not have a sandy foundation, but a solid foundation. So, you know, speaking life in that area in my life that, you know, I have to surrender to God and every day just keep pleading the blood of Jesus over my family and you know the promise of having a husband because that's an area where I don't touch like oh well you know I don't want to get my hopes up and that's really what the story was about with the is that you know we get our hopes up like don't get my hopes up you know and no but it's also telling God, well, God, you said this, you know, so it was good. It was good. I'm excited for today and uh, the Lord is good. <laughs> Did you find anything along the way? Uh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, there's nothing on our side. Uh, Whoa. Not just going to be a miracle for you, 
but he's going to be a miracle for the nation of Israel. So just as you've been uh, so, so deep in shame, so deep in disgrace, so deep in pain, God is going to turn your shame around. He's going to turn your disgrace around. And he's going to give you great honour in the son that you are going to have who is going to usher the way for the Messiah. You would think that Zechariah would fall on his face before God and say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I'm so glad that you have answered my prayer. Lord, you're so good. I knew you could do it. I knew that you would come through for me one day. But instead, do you know what Zechariah's response to the angel was? Uh, How can I know that this is true? Like, hello, how can you know that this is true? Do you think an angel would come down from heaven and lie to you? The angel doesn't have horns, right? It's not red, you're like, it's not a demon here. We've got an angel from heaven and you're asking, how can I know that this is going to happen? How can I know that this is going to happen? This week, I know we've already seen cool stories and I I want to uh, read what it says in Revelation. Many of you have heard this before, but this is the reason that we sit down and we share stories and, and, and talk about things in Revelation chapter 12. It says the salvation and power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of Christ have come. The accuser has been thrown down who accuses them day and night. They have conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, by their story. It's to this, because you're gonna, if you're focusing on what's wrong with your body and not focusing on the healer, we're focused on the wrong thing. I want you to shift your focus right now. Everyone close your eyes. And I want you to focus on Jesus, the healer. I'm gonna ask for some catchers. You're gonna meet me at the end beyond the, behind the side one. And I'm gonna start this and I'm gonna move real quick. I'm just gonna lay my hands on you. Some of you are gonna fall. Some of you are not gonna fall. That doesn't mean you're healed or not healed. It simply means you're responding to the power of God. Whether you fall or not fall does not determine if there's a move of God. Does this make sense? I want you to simply respond to how heaven time for this, but I felt like the Lord says, I'm healer, and I'm in the room, and there has been the wrong narrative that has been spoken over my daughters that there is no cure. God is our cure. Jesus is our cure. Freedom over your family. I want you to yell freedom over the things that still need breakthrough. I want you to yell freedom over spirit of religion. I want you to yell freedom over surprise Arizona. I want you to yell freedom That is a wrap for today. Well, that is a wrap for the women's gathering. It was very good, very powerful. God was definitely there. Holy Spirit was moving. People got healed. And it was just amazing. I can't wait for next year. And... I pray that you can make it to the next women's conference that we have next year. And that is all for this vlog. I love you. Jesus loves you. And God bless you.